close for the day. I just wanted to say uh, good evening to my beautiful one, my Pensy. <laughs> I'm waiting for the other theater to finish, which has almost finished as well. So I just want to give you some kiss kiss. These are for the ACs, yeah, and these are for uh, the lights as well at the cinema. So we control uh, this, uh, uh, yeah, the, the sound of the movie at the background, okay. These are the monitors, and um, we actually control this theater and other theaters i can control other theaters from here yeah i can actually control other theaters from here and uh this is uh the amps that I actually uh get to control the sound system yeah you can see it so this is part of our uh, Cinema and the processes involved in controlling the cinema. Yeah, it's actually a nice experience. The world and life of a projection is. So you can see this door. This is where the machine is. This is where the projector is. Yeah, and I think I will open it and uh, you will get to see how it looks like. Yeah. It is really dark. Really dark and uh, the movie is ongoing already. And uh, uh, this is uh, the big uh, projector. And on top, you can see the signal on top of that place uh, that you close to the exhaust. Yes, and uh, this is actually uh, uh, a 2D and a 3D display kind of projector that displays and it shoots it directly to the canvas you understand it shoots it directly to the canvas so it's actually a wonderful experience working at the cinema yeah so you get to see how it actually works this is behind the scene which so many persons don't actually get to see so I'm taking you around and you can get to actually see how it looks like and from the view you see that uh, it uh, kind of uh, reflects back yeah kind of reflects back uh, so it's a uh, uh, kind of a, a cinematic experience yes so that's how it actually looks like I'm trying to get it out so that you guys get to see how it actually looks like. Yeah, cinematic experience. That's the world of projectionists where we actually get to shoot the movie. But you know what? The movie comes in a package 
that uh, no device can actually play unless the cinematic uh, equipment and as you can see this is the state of art equipment here yeah. so working in the cinema is uh, actually fun it's an entertainment uh, industry where you get to learn a lot of things you understand and uh, being a projectionist at the cinema it's not just uh, a child's place very technical you understand you getting your digital cinema package you know we have moved away from using films to a, a, digital, cinema, a digital cinema package and when the digital cinema package comes it comes in a pack a hard drive and you have to extract the movie and it takes hours to ingest we call it ingest you know like when you upload or get something into your computer it's different to how our terms in the cinema world we call it we ingest you ingest the movie into the server you understand now when you check into the projector you will see that the projector has its own specific kind of server and when this movie comes some persons will ask me ah, there's this movie in the cinema can i get it i will tell them no the movie is not yet out so once you remove this in the cinema it's not supposed to be out except it is being copyrighted you understand and which is against the law so uh when the movie comes sometimes if the movie is supposed to be black posted probably uh let's say uh two days from now and the movie comes will ingest and they send the key to or the key is called kid which is a key delivery message yeah kid key delivery message yeah <clears throat> it actually the key is a, a, a duration of time then once the time elapses it expires and will ask for more so it's been done this way so that the persons who actually produce the movie can actually gain from it the persons who are selling at the post office can actually gain for it so each other way like that nobody's been cheated you understand so it's actually fun very very fun the cinematic experience it's something that definitely you wouldn't want to miss. Yeah, it's fun. Being a projection is it's not easy. Yeah, so you can see. Uh, 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 I am controlling it from here. This side, you see, I am controlling it from here. And I'm, actu I'm actually shooting the movie. Yes, and if you, if you can see, you will see that the movie is uh, uh, a more ghetto. Yes, I'm gonna get to. So that's what I'm trying to do. I won't take you into uh, the the projector room, yeah. And you know the projector room. It's actually it's good. It is a dark place. It's really a dark place. So take me into the projector room. Yeah. Okay, come on me. Come on me. So. This is the projector, okay? And uh, it's actually fun, yeah? Yeah, so normally this place is very, very cold. Very, very, very cold. You understand? And this is a very delicate machine, and you don't actually play with it. A very delicate machine. And you can see this machine. This machine is worth 25 million. So, it's not something you could jump it. Hmm? It's not something you could jump it. So you would see that uh, projectionists, they actually value the, the machine more than human things. Right? <laughs> but that's wrong anyway. Uh, the, the, the projection, as you see, what? 25 million. And we have three of these in different theaters, in which I can control this theater with other theaters. So it's actually a nice experience as a projectionist working at the cinema so it's actually fun and uh, I've gotten to show you a little of how it is the world of projectionist is actually a, a fun place to be yeah there's a movie coming on I'm just gonna go and give you a glimpse of how the movie looks like I'm gonna switch off the lights here and uh, take you a little bit into the hall. So, this one is a pretty 
So I just went in and I'm out. That's the world of projectionists. So I, I'm able to control other theaters for me. Through land, through our server and so many things. I can control the movie, I can control the sounds in other theaters. This is just a world of projectionists. And I hope you keep tuning into my channel. Let's do things that are great. You understand? My channel will keep bringing so much vibes. So much, so much vibe. And you don't have to forget to always click on that subscription button. You have to always click on that subscription button. More will be coming. And uh, being a projectionist, you, you have a lot to learn in the ICT world. Yeah. And we are always isolated. We are always at the back. You understand? Sometimes we are at the dark. Just to make sure that those are the theater trying to get the best of experience. Yeah. So uh there are a lot to learn. There are a lot to learn and uh it's actually nice that uh, Africans are not patronizing the cinema. Yeah. At the post office you see a lot of persons selling their movies above 100 million, 200 million, 300 million, 500 million. We're looking forward to see movies selling billions, you understand? And it's going there because Nigerian movies, the movies we're seeing now in the cinema, it's actually different from the normal ones you see on TV. So, uh, the cinematic movies are actually nice. Uh, the experience is nice on the big screen, on the canvas, yes. And, uh, our movies are doing great and uh, I see it uh, going farther than we ever thought, you understand? So, uh, that's the movie world for you, being a projectionist, uh, it's actually a cool thing. Uh, like I said, I could control other theaters from here, I can see the movies, control the sounds and everything from here, so it's actually nice. Uh, people were like, why, why do we go to cinema? Cinema is business for people. Cinema is where people come for relaxation. People are cashing out from cinema. When you see people in the movie world, they actually make most of their money from cinema. Then once they're done with the cinema, then they can sell it to Netflix or other streaming companies. You understand? So, uh, movies come into the cinemas and uh, the, it's being coordinated so that uh, the producers can make their money. The the cinema itself, from the box office and everything, can make their money. You get it. So it's a different thing entirely. And uh, I just took you back to just see some equipment. It's beyond that. Okay, it's beyond what you just saw. And uh, being a projectionist. I know definitely it's a career that people choose because in those days uh, you see people who actually took it so serious, especially when it was the film era. But now it's been we're well, now in the digital world and and, and, as, and as you can see we're no longer making use of those films, now we we'll make use of these digital packages. So that package it can be sent to different countries. The keys, the keys comes, it's just like a password, it comes, you can send it through via mail. So if they send a package to another country, then once it's time for the movie, then they can send the key. Then sometimes the key stays for two weeks, three weeks, depends on how they created it. And once it expires, you have to pay to the producers, the distributors, and they send you the key again. So cinema experience is nice. So, I am a projectionist at the cinema and uh, <laughs> uh, I cannot be a projectionist forever and uh, life is a gradual process, you go from one stage to the other stage, so 
Being a projectionist, why it became so easy for me working as a projectionist? Uh, I started operating the computer uh, at my primary five. Yes, primary five, primary six. I started operating the system, the computer system. A lot of times I spoiled my father's computer, but I said, ah. And I'm also scared because I, I, I don't know how to replace it when it's being spoiled. But I said I will learn how to repair the computer. But luckily, uh, my dad took me for IT to Enugu, in Soka, to be precise, or Denibo area. That's when I learned how to repair computer at Mac Betty. Yeah, I learned how to repair computers, printers, and other things. Journey with my experience. So I opened projectors, the smaller projectors. This this is different. This is an industrial project. This is a big one. 25 mm, it has an exhaust, it has a lot of things. The lamp is dangerous. That lamp, very dangerous. And the lamp costs millions as well. When the lamp is exhausted, just like your electricity bulb, once the lamp is exhausted, they send it from Germany because this project is a German product, they send it from Germany. And uh, you know now, the cinema was built by the SLNC, the governor of River State, yes, on uh, uh, Wiki. And, uh, we make sure that uh, we actually care for the projector because it is so expensive. That stuff you're seeing is about 25 million, and we'll have others in other theaters. So it's actually fun over here. And being a projection is a lot to learn, a lot to learn. I just have to show you some of the places so you understand little how the cinema works. Thank you very much. Always remember to subscribe to this channel. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.